Yes. Harry. Well, uh, how's this? Mr. Hoover, this is the President of the United States. How's that? Good, sir, good. Good morning, good morning. How are you? My goodness, that boy's growing. He must be ready for college. Man the guns, man the guns. Fire at will, that's it, fire at will. Yes, yes, yes. No, oh, put it through, put it through. The American people can only stand so much. I ran into her down in Williamsburg. She said some very unkind things about my Missouri accent. And we read their banner headline. And that four of those ulcers are working overtime. And so, Margaret, to be a good president, I fear a man cannot be his own mentor. The kind of help that you can give me, I can't find anywhere else on this earth, and I am most grateful to you, sir, most grateful. I will send a car for you first thing in the morning. DC, and give me a bronchoscopy. So he called Wally. Rose, would you come in here and bring me some three cent stamps, please? That war, as Clement so put it, is much too serious a matter to be left up to generals. Therefore, for the former to return to the latter is not to demote them, but to promote them. My promotion is to be one of you. How much fun can it be to do Give em Hell Harry on the grounds of the Truman Little White House in Key West, where he, this place helped him unwind, relax, helped him recharge, helped him do the job that he had to do as president. So to be able to play him in his own backyard is just a lot of fun. The first time Grandpa came down here, it recharged him, it rejuvenated, he loved it. He loved being here, he was stressed, uh, having heart palpitations, headaches, the first morning, that began to go away. He felt great. And after a few days here, he had fallen so much in love with it that my grandfather wrote to my grandmother, I have a good mind to move the government to Key West and just stay.